Here is the first exercise. We're going to talk about the if statement we're going to practice. So let's fill in based on the comments. If A is equal to C, print A and C are the same. So we say if A is equal to, which is the two equal sign, we'll C, then, and in the braces then this will be happening, so we're going to say print A and C are the same. All right, and there it is. A and C are the same. All right, if A is less than B, print B is ahead of A. So if A is less than B, then we're going to, whoops, do the opening brace, and then we're going to say print B is ahead of A. Check it out. So far, so good. If B is greater than A, print A is not winning against B. If B is greater than A, print A is not winning against B. If A is less than or equal to C, print A is either losing to or tied with C. If A is less than or equal to C, print A is either losing, losing to or tied with C. All right, very good. Now let's add code after each comment above and then remember the rule about the hungry mouth. Yep, we already figured that out. Very good. Good job. Let's go to the next exercise. So you remember that else will has code that runs if the first statement is not true. So we can reduce the amount of code and make it clearer. Rewrite the code above to use an else statement. So instead of having both of these, we can say if secret word is equal to guess, then we print that else, and if I delete that, I'm going to select it, then I'm going to press backspace and backspace again. Now if I type else, now it's in one line. We say if secret word is equal to guess, print that. Else, print your guess is wrong. Awesome. Check out the next one. Leap years. To decide if a year is a leap year, there are several decisions that have to be made. Is the year divisible by four? If so, is the year divisible by 100? If not, it is a leap year. If so, is the year divisible by 400? If not, it is not a leap year. If so, it is a leap year. Okay, let's figure this out. We're going to use a function. Now there's this function here that is built in that makes it a little easier. So, the first question, if the number is divisible by 4, if that returns true, then we ask another question. So let's ask another question. If number year is divisible by 100, then what happens? If it is, if, if so, the, is, if it's divisible by 100, if it's not, then it's a leap year. So that means if this is false, we say else, let me just add this in, we're going to return true. Let me delete this so that it doesn't get in the way. We're just cleaning it up a little bit. Okay, so if the year is divisible by 100, if not, it is a leap year, which means we return true. If it is divisible by 100, we ask another question, okay? So if this is true, then we ask another question, which is if number year is divisible by 400. Now, inside here, if it is not, it is not a leap year. If so, it is a leap year. So here, 
this returns true if if it is divisible by 400 else return false okay there we go now let's check this out so is leaf is 2000 a leaf year true 1900 false how about 2012 true and 2017 false awesome very good be sure to subscribe and look for the next video.